Okay, this is Eric Windheim, building biologist. We're at the same house in the foothills with the Outback Solar Controller. And uh, right now we're running on battery, and we're running on generator. And with the generator, the generator creates horrendously dirty electricity. Now I'm going to turn on a Stetzer filter for a second, and it looks like it can knock it down to a 750. With the Stetzer filter off, it's on. With the Stetzer filter on, it goes down. But <clears throat> with the jet backup generator, I think it's a Kohler. It's a real good brand. We've got a peak-to-peak -peak voltage, which is mostly at 20 kilohertz or 20,000 cycles per second. 31. 31. 31 volts peak-to-peak. -peak. And uh, the secondary uh, uh, peak of transients is at 40. Now, please notice how the uh, uh, 60 cycle sine wave has been distorted. And uh, we're going to take a little bit closer look here. We're going to go in and take a look at a uh, zoom view. Okay, so here's what we have is each one of these little spikies here. This is 20,000 times per second. And please notice how it absolutely correlates with the 60 cycle sine wave. We're going to go in even further. Okay. You shouldn't have seen any change. Okay, so now we're really zoomed in. We're going to freeze it here for a second. And uh, we're going to find out how far apart these spikes are. You see these? this little cursor here? We just placed it right there. Okay, now we're going to get another cursor here. We're going to put it right there. So what we're doing is we're measuring the distance between these two cycles, or spikes. And we find out that's 23.51 kilohertz. Right there is 23 kilohertz. That's right in this range here. It's high frequency, it's in the biologically injurious range, and the amplitude is 31 volts. So this is a pretty toxic, actually it's the most toxic spot I've ever seen. We're going to go back to the way things were. Yeah, okay. That's uh, 5 volts. Boy, it's really dirty right now. What happens if you turn that filter on? Filter does a good job of knocking it down. Which means? Which means it, some dirty electricity is actually reactive to a capacitive filter. You get resonant chatter and it goes up. Now we're just lucky enough right now that this Stetzer filter is uh, capable of filtering this. Now it might be different if we had it down at the panel. Sometimes it works better if it's a couple, you know, 100 feet down the wire. It would. What? Um, now I have another change I'm going to make. We're still, we're still recording this, so don't say anything that you don't want on okay. YouTube. Now what I'm, uh, what I'm going to do, okay, we've gone through these. Um, the solar controller was not functioning. I turned it on but it thinks the batteries are full, so it stopped charging. So I'm going to have to go up and make a quick change to the programming on the solar controller so it kicks in. Okay, well, we're at the top end of the scale now. Uh, whatever, this is as it's dirty as it, it ever gets here. Um, okay, so let me go make that change to make sure the solar controller is working. I had to tell you it didn't come on. Yeah, okay, so just for reference again, folks, this is an ongoing test. The peak to peak, volt, the 20,000 cycle per second peak to peak is 31 volts. And there's tremendous distortion on the 60 cycle sine wave. We can, by putting a filter in, we can smooth it up and get rid of a lot of the 20,000. But it's still way over here because <laughs> anything over 5 on this X10 meter is hazardous. And here we are at 750. We'll wait just a second for uh, the solar controller to be turned back on. Okay, we're turning the filter on again. Mm-hmm. 
We've got about 800 on the Stetzer meter. This is a regular Stetzer meter. And this is a special, uh, specially calibrated X10 Stetzer meter. So this one reads, you have to multiply that by 10. You can see how close they are. Okay, that's with the filter off. We're still running on the video because we're going to be uh, capturing something valuable very soon. Any minute now, we're going to get word that something has changed in the solar controller. We're still over 20,000 on the X10 Stetzer meter. We're still at 31 volts peak to peak. And the predominant dirty electricity is 20,000 and 40,000. And we do have some down here at slower. Slower areas here, more like about three or four thousand kilohertz. Let's watch this area here when we turn it down. Well, it gets crammed down even, you get a higher speed, a little bit higher there, but we do knock it down from the three thousand more like to 1.5 or 2. Let's take a little bit more of a zoom look in. We're going to get down into the... Now, the, the peak here... Okay, so this is 20 kilohertz, this is 10, and you can see the 60 cycle sine wave going along there. So we're going to turn on the filter, see what happens. Well, you know the good news is it looks like it cleans it up pretty good. This is quite a testimony for the Stetzer filter, um, filtering out the uh, dirtiest possible solar inverter that I've seen in five years of testing. And notice it gets rid of the 10, the 9 to 10, here's the 20 kilohertz. This red is the high frequency voltage transients on the uh, scope mode. And when we turn on the filter, bingo. It cleans up tremendously. But look at the distortion that's going on on the 60 cycle sine wave. These notches and ridges and shelves, that shouldn't be there. Okay, what's the news? Um, I would like you to show Julie what happens when you kick in that with the Stetzer filter without the Stetzer filter. Okay, so right here, and by the way, we're still recording, so don't okay. say anything that's personally identifiable. Okay, this is with the filter. And you see how there's notching on the 60 cycle sine wave here? The ledges mm -hmm. and, okay. And uh, this is the blue 60 cycle, and this is the voltage transients mm -hmm. right here. Okay, you turn the filter off, and suddenly, but we, let's take a look at this too. The dirty electricity gets down into a mild 750. Wow. This is still in a level that's co correlated to all kinds of cancers and other non-contagious degenerative and even fatal diseases in peer-reviewed reports. Uh, okay, so that's as mild as it gets. And you turn the filter off and now we're over 20,000. We're going to get back to our standard setting here of um, Okay, and what's important here is that the dirty electricity from this peak to this peak, from this peak to this peak, is 31 volts. Most of the time, I see dirty electricity bothers people at 0.3 volts. So this is a hundred times more powerful than a lot of people okay. complain <coughs> about. All right, I'm gonna go up and make another change, but the filter, Wow, so the filter is good to have. Huge, huge. Right, 
And uh, this is the kind of filter that's been used in many... Well, what I want to do is find out. It's probably just a capacitor. That's, it's a 20 microfarad capacitor with the resistor in there to shirt it off so you don't get shocked when you touch the prongs, you know, to bleed it down. Because otherwise, bap, you know, you can get, you'll get that capacitor charge. Now, I have a special test rig where it's a quad, quad outlet box with a hot neutral on the ground. We can hook it up down there and see if a filter would work well down there. Actually, I'd put the filter on in the power building. Okay. That's the place to put a filter in is the power building. Okay. okay. And so, the thing is, that is 20 microfarads. All right. We can put in up to three or four if we want. And, and that will change because capacitors in parallel add, if I remember right, capacitance. Yeah. I add capacitance. But we use capacitive reactance formula, a certain, depending on the frequency, certain capacitance will cause more attenuation than another depending Yeah, on this is a broadband one designed to get everything between four and a hundred thousand. Now if we got a tune for a tune filter, that'd be even